Yo, Redirect Podcast. This is Direct, and I'm here with my man June Peas. You already know June Peas, man. We out here. So let's let's set, let's set the table for people. Let's tell them, man. I talked to June today. He's like, "Yo, come through and watch the battle." I'm like, "You know what, June? I'll do that." Right. You know what I'm saying? I get here to the crib. At what time? What time did I get here? Like five. The event didn't start. It was about to start, so it was like four, right? All right, f- about four. Let's say four thirty. Let's say three thirty. All right, three thirty. I get to the crib. No, it couldn't have been three thirty because the battles ain't start till <laughs> five. But I get to the crib. Man, I man, the battle was fucked up. <laughs> That's like I can't even. Yo, I don't want sugarcoat <laughs> shit. I told, I told, I told, I told direct man, we ain't sugarcoating shit, bro. Like this, this event, bro. Like the way it was ran. Everything like it went wrong. Like everything in the battle rap event, like that could fuck up, happened. You know what I'm saying? Like from the very get, from chokes to you know what I'm saying people not having complete rounds, fights, and all that. But you know we go, we gonna get into all that right now. So you know. All right. So the first battle, which wasn't on the stream, was Jack Boy and, and Franchise. So I, I I'm gonna just speak off of just what people were saying online. I can't say I ain't watch a person that wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? So whoever was in the building got to see that battle. You know what I'm saying? But According to online, they said that Jack Boy choked all three rounds. You know what I'm saying? And then especially after that John John performance, like, bro, you just got your chain through in the crowd. You just jumped off stage and stage dived like you was at a Travis Scott concert. And you know what I'm saying? Like, like bro, like, and you're going to come back for your return. You lucky that URL even called you back. He come back for his return and, and you get dirty. You, you choke every round for his franchise. Like, that shit don't make no sense. He shouldn't get a call back after that. I mean... And word to Hitman, because he he was saying that um, franchise was going crazy. Yeah. So I feel like, just from franchise's perspective, when when you prepare your best for a battle, you get crazy, and then the other person just don't show up. Yeah, it's kind of like a slap in the face. You know what I mean, and Jack Boy is supposed to be a redemption tour. You know how many people wish they could get on a stage like that and right. wish they could get that opportunity. And it's like you. I mean, maybe he didn't choke on purpose because I he he had. Nah, I mean, no, nobody choked on choke. purpose. You know what I'm saying? But, but just the fact that you're not like prepared. A, yeah. After the fact of what just happened. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like your career took a dive. So literally. I, I literally. Like, so come on, son. So shout out to franchise for holding it down, doing what he's supposed to do. But come on, Jack boy. I don't. Do you think he should get another shot after this? Or like, what do you? He how shouldn't do you think? be on main stage no more. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. this was a main stage battle again. Mm-hmm. They should have threw him on band again, or threw him like in a in a born legacy kind of kind of joint. You feel me? But he yeah. shouldn't touch the main stage for a while, if at all. You feel me? Yeah, I feel like the biggest problem with a lot of the artists in the URL rotation is they don't get breaks, and shit like this happens. Yeah. So come on, Jack boy, get it together. Um, then the second battle was the battle. The first battle was actually streamed. Yeah. The battle that everybody wanted to see was Ace Ami versus Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes. That in large part was due to the champion exposure. And I don't know how they worked that out. Like how they went about getting all that exposure. If Jay Black and them just wanted to see the battle. Yeah. So they, but whatever they did, all you other up and coming battlers that's trying to get on the main stage is need to do that. Cause right. they did an excellent job. Promoting yeah, that buzz battle. they made was crazy for that battle. You know what I'm saying? Like D was telling me earlier, he like, man, I watched the face off with them, and it made me want to see the battle. You feel me? I don't watch face offs like that either. I just happened to click on it, and I was just like, damn, yeah. I want to see them two battle. But um, it got it got real intense. That battle was real intense. It was a lot of touching in that battle. I ain't like that shit. Like you know what I'm saying? Like there was like every round, like shoving and touching, and you but know, I, get out my face, <laughs> slapping each other hand, and all kinds of shoulder bumps. But you know I said what I'm I said before that this was the most. Almost fights in a battle I've ever. They set the Guinness World Record yeah, for I most so, almost bro. fights. How many it was like times seven, was it, bro? It was like probably seven. even more than that. So like no exaggeration, it was probably like ten times, bro. Right. No lie. But yeah, so there was a lot of slapping. And it was like the most thirstiest battle of all time, as far as like these <laughs> niggas needed water. <laughs> Yo, that ass, these niggas needed water every thirty seconds. Like they'll stop. Like yo, hold on, hold on. I need some water. <laughs> like this shit's <laughs> crazy, son. Yeah, I can't lie. Like, how many Polar Springs is in the fucking venue? Niggas' boats was mad dry. Yo. <laughs> um. It was crazy, but um, first round though, first round I, I got um Snake Eyes winning. You feel me? Like Ace Amin, he kicked it off. I think right? the first round was a good round. Yeah, it was a good round from both yeah. sides. You feel me? Like Ace Amin came out, he kicked it off or whatever. Yeah. But then Snake Eyes, I feel like his first round was just a little bit more. I gave him the edge. It wasn't like it was a no body or nothing. It was like no clear, but it was, you know it, it was an edge to me. You feel me? So and a lot, I feel like a lot of people was like clear. He bodied him in the first round. But I feel like Ace Amin's first round was good. But Snake Eyes, I feel like yeah. Yeah, you have to choose. He got that one. Um, second round, 
that's the round I gave Ace Amin. I gave the Ace Amin too. And the third round, and I want to say the third round of this battle was like when the shit started happening. <laughs> yeah. Like, so Snake opened Ace up Amin, with the. No, nah, Ace Amin went first. Okay, yeah, yeah. So in his round, he basically pulled out a, a chain that looked like Tay Rock's cave game chain. And he was like, yo, he bought this in the mall right, the kiosk for a couple chain. hundred dollars. And he like threw his chain and he basically did what John John did to Jack Boy. And people going crazy, like, because if you remember, uh, Rock wouldn't let Hollow test his chain with the diamond tester. He want no parts. So I don't know why Ace I mean did that. Is there like something behind that? Bro, I think I guess that him and Tay Rock had some exchange on Twitter or some shit like that. I ain't know the whole backstory of it. You feel me? But even though I feel like like the angle fell flat because he wasn't battling Snake Eyes. You feel me? He was battling Tay Rock. And then, other way around. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I don't. <laughs> It, see, it's, that's a double-edged sword because let's talk about marketing for a second, right? Yeah. It worked. Like, he's going to have people talking about it. But to me, it kind of, like, solidified that he lost the battle. And cr- you do that in the first round, in the middle. Yeah. Maybe you give it 16 bars max or something. Right, right. Say right. what you got to say, dip in and dip out of it. I feel like he was not experienced enough to know that that strategy fucked up his whole round. Yeah. You know? And I mean on a big stage. I don't mean just in general, but... Yeah, man, that and see, here's what made it weirder is that when it was Snake Eyes' turn in his round, he pulled out a chain. What 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 what, what chain was it? It was uh, I don't know, bro. What, what was the chain? It oh, you know, it was Ace on Means Clicks chain. Whatever the yeah, fuck it was, and he threw that one too. But the whole the whole shit was awkward. You feel me? Because it's like Ace on Means just did this shit right, and then you copied John John shit kind of word for word. He didn't really mm-hmm. flip that angle and make it his. You know what I mean? He even did the whole dropping jewels shit. You feel me? And then. Snake Eyes come out, he do the same exact thing, bro. You feel me? What saved him? Remember when he was like, oh, I brought a spare one. Like He's like, Bill yeah, Goldberg, yeah, I brought line, a spare one. I brought a spare like Bill Goldberg. Yeah, like, you know, that was dope. That that saved it from being, like, flat and wacky. It's literally, he pulled out the chain, and people were like, this shit again? Then he was like, I got a spare like Bill Goldberg. People were like, oh, that was crazy. And right. then it was like, after, like, maybe 15, 20 seconds, people were like, nah. Right, man. like, what, what the fuck we cheering about? Like, you yeah. know what I mean? It, it was a surprise attack, but, yeah, that... <laughs> That battle ended poorly because of that chain shit. Yeah. Like, like I think my advice to all the battlers out there would be like, if there's an angle or a line that's big, you don't always have to go out and remix it right, or right. do your own version of it. Like, there's certain lines like, it's funny how I'm in the third round and crack the fat joke. Yeah, yeah. People let that go for years. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's like ten different lines that people let go for years. That's not one of them. If if it's a line that's directly connected to a moment. Do not try to duplicate that shit because it wasn't your moment. Exactly. It was John John and Jack Boy. It moment, felt corny you know on both sides, bro. I feel like if Snake Eyes, if I was Snake Eyes, after seeing Ace Amin do that shit, I would have cut it you out. Crapped it. I would have, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like I wouldn't even did that shit. But what do you what do you do? If cause he he don't be freestyling and shit. So what do you do if that's like a half of your round? Mm. You'd be like Jersey after like a minute. I would, bro, cause like it, it looks worse on Cam, him pulling they both pulled out a chain, bro. Like they had the, the same. The Bill exact- Goldberg was hard. But he, he could have even, you know what? I'm not saying you got to be a freestyler, but like, look at Chef Trezor DNA if they had that angle. Mm-hmm. They would have been like, oh, like, I, I would have made it look like, oh, I'm pulling out a chain because you just did. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say something about how it's corny. John John already did it. Mm-hmm. Then I'm going to use the spare Bill Goldberg line. I might start it like that and then spit my whole round. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Use up a whole two minutes <laughs> with that. The execution though, you know? was, was was poor, man. You know what I mean? But yeah, I think Snake Eyes definitely won that battle two to one. Yeah, he won two one. I don't bro. think you can argue that it was a solid battle, man. Like you know, what I mean, we kind of spent some time talking right. how bad the end of the third was. But, but besides that, and besides like all the extra shit and shoulder bumps and all that crazy, I shit. I like the first two rounds. Yeah, the first two rounds was was, was all right, man. And they both got potential. You feel me? And um, I want to see them back. You know, even Ace mean like when he wasn't talking about the chain, his third round was kind of going the same way his second was. Yeah. But it was just, I don't think neither of them needed that. I can't lie, but the spare like Bill Goldberg line was fire. Yeah, like, was, I can't see any <laughs> other way he could have used it. It was. You know what I mean? But um, Him bringing Rex out in the beginning of his third was fire too. I like that. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, no, that was the second. No, it was the third. The third? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He brought yeah, Rex out Rex in the two beginning. Rex two on two. Mm-hmm, two on two real quick, yeah. Um, I was slapping this nigga's hat. You think I did? <laughs> um, if you noticed, like we have a couple bars, but just because this event, guys, I'm sure you could tell by the title of this video, has so much crappy shit going on that, yeah. fuck it, we just get right to the point. Um, After this battle, it took like three hours for the next one to start. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? I can't lie. This, this was, was the longest event that had like the least amount of battles. Yo, the irony in that. I can't lie. When I realized it was three battles, I was like, yo, finally, it's going to be like a two hour event. Yeah. The, the total opposite. Like, niggas like, oh, all right, we can take our time and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, bro, that shit was trash, bro. Like, Niggas had like watched the whole movie and a half, bro. You know what I'm saying? Waiting for the next battle to happen. And they had Lux performing. Like I'll, I'll say this, right? And it's not nothing against Lux, nothing against URL, anything. But the one thing battle fans don't want to see is a performance in the middle of a battle. Yeah. Niggas respected it because it was Lux. But I, if if he had came out right after the Ace Amina Snake battle, niggas like, oh, all right, you know what I'm saying? Quick little intermission and shit yeah. like that. But after waiting like two hours, my nigga, and then you bring Lux on, you know what I mean? It's like, nah, come on, son. We trying to watch the next battle, bro. Nah, I, I think I, I think all together, yo. When we did, I think it was MLB and Freeway performed. The nigga was like, "Come on, get to the battle." Or, That's when I was like, "Yeah, it's, can't even do it's it." It's solidified. Yeah. Don't ever do a performance at a battle. But um, next I mean, battle. hold on. But saying that though, go get Lux new project. Geechee got some, had some fire shit on there. Ilmac yeah. had some fire shit on there. Beat I had some fire shit on there. I love hearing the music on the stream, mm-hmm. but I just think actual performing in the middle of a battle rap event. Fans be standing for mad long. They be mad hungry. They just want to see the battle, say right. ooh and ah, and go home. <laughs> but um, the third battle was Monstars versus NW, the Toon like, Squad. The Toon Squad, yeah, <laughs> quote, unquote. Um, I think this was this is the best battle of the night. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, the thing that sucks is that in the first round, Suge messed up one of their parts, and Twerk was yeah, like, Twerk, like, come, come on, on, son. Like, get, yeah. get it together, you feel me? Like, Twerk was looking hurt up there, man. You know what I mean? Like, come on, my boy. Like, you know? And But so they kind of forfeited the first round. Uh, NWX first round was their craziest yeah, round. Yeah, they came out me. crazy. So that kind of was like the battle was over after <laughs> the first round. But yeah, yeah. We, we was like, if they don't come back after yeah. this first round, like it's over with. But, you know I mean? but Shook and Twerk's second round was crazy. That's the only debatable they round. They had it all the together. Yeah, they had it together and shit. Yeah. Um, Until that whole almost altercation shit happened. You feel me? Where Twerk, you know what I'm saying? Start calling out the dude that was in the background or whatever. Like their second round was fire and then they couldn't get it back together after that they, whole they shit. They probably had like 20 seconds left. Yeah, and yeah. And then Twerk was arguing with their mans. But I mean, it didn't it didn't mess up the round for me. Yeah. They could cut that out on the edit and it would look like they killed it. You know what I mean? Second round, NWX was dope too. It wasn't, their first was crazy. Their second was dope. I honestly think the second round is a toss up. But people who don't, because it wasn't, it wasn't just like a body. So people who don't want to say it's a thirty, were probably gonna give it to monsters. Right, that's like the only debatable round. Period. Um, third round, I feel like Twerk and Shug did good too. But DNA and Kayshawn, like they, they special man. Like when I heard that this battle got booked, the first thing I said was, "It's too soon." Twerk and Shug, like let them bask in their glory. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Let like make them wait a year. You know what I'm saying? Make people want to anticipate the next matchup. Because that they, them two as a tag team is like a star tandem. Yeah. You know what I mean? NWX and the Source and Elmac and Marvin Quest, to me, is the three teams that's the most seasoned in this shit. Yeah. Right? You can't be putting those seasoned veterans against people who just got hot because it's going to end up like this. And it wasn't to say, oh, they're definitely going to lose or whatever. But it was like, yo, like don't spoil a good thing. Before it can even get going, yeah, get there. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. They could have been talking about their first performance for a year, for a minute, right? You know what I'm saying? The battle ain't even come out yet. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I don't. I I really didn't like that. I wouldn't have booked that. But I mean, it's not me booking it. So you think after this battle, DNA and Kayshawn kind of solidified themselves as like the best? They've been solidified as the best. You know how I feel. Like, I want them to battle Ilmac and Thesaurus so bad. But they've done so much, they don't have to battle them. But just yeah. as a fan, I want to see that. But, like, this is just, this just reminds everybody that forgot that they can't be fucked with. I think what solidified them, they, 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 they was already top names. But when they lost terribly to gun titles, mm-hmm. then they came back and washed them. Mm-hmm. To me, that's what was like. I was like, all right, but yeah, they got it. Yeah. So, um, but like DNA and K Shine two one or three zero, oh, however you slice it. Well, not but the third round, right? Cause I want to talk about it. I want to touch right. base on that, right? Because um, Twerk comes out, Professor Twerk. I don't even sound comfortable saying that, but oh yeah, uh, <laughs> he come out with the jacket or whatever. You know what I'm saying? He had the chart. He killed that shit. Like they third round was dope, but it was just Twerk. You feel me? Like Suge didn't have probably like not one bar in the whole oh, shit. Oh yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yo, I always say like if, even if the round is dope, unless you set it up crazy and you do something unique. If one partner round rhymes for the majority of a two on two round, mm-hmm. to me you lost that round. Yeah. Even if it's fire competitively, like like McClips. 
like when Clips and Goods just went in their last battle. I felt like Clips was crazy, but he still lost a round to me because it, they didn't use teamwork. They and it's a teamwork, teamwork battle. Right, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, clips in the stir round. Remember, yeah, he went crazy and like yeah. it was like, all right, but that was like a it's dope a two clip on two, save. my nigga. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, it's different. So I don't, and, and to me, that's because they didn't have enough time. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's the only reason why they did that. They wouldn't. They didn't do that in the first battle. That's the you know fact they had more chemistry in the first battle and shit. But um, but the not, yeah, professor, well, professor Twerk shit was dope. He was killing it. But then DNA. T- I about to say that's, how, that's what I wanted to touch base on. You yeah. feel me? Like DNA showed God tier freestyling ability, my nigga. Like he reminded you why he is one of the goats in this shit. You feel me? Like right. hate him or love him. You know what I'm saying? Like I understand why you might hate him. I understand why you might you might love him. Or whatever. He's so talented, you can't really even hate him. Like even people that might not like his personal style got to be like, I can't lie. Like I can't right. grab something and freestyle for three minutes and then yeah. just hold the whole like, round. My man's took the chart that we was just talking about. That twerk pulled out. He took the right. fucking chart right. And it was more like just, oh, I'm going to repeat and rebuttal what you just said. Like, this nigga made a whole angle right. on the spot. Like, you know what I'm saying? He made a whole, like, detailed angle about all the shit that was on the chart on the spot, bro. And you know it was freestyle, but it was like, oh, shit. Like, how is he coming up with this shit? Like, it was it I got some mad funny to tell you, right? You remember when DNA battled Shine and Shine did the Professor Shine thing? If y'all didn't see that battle, watch it. This is like a remix of that. A lot of people, well, the majority, everyone's going to say Shine won that one. Um, and DNA tried to rap over the mic at Biggie's birthday and all that. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that in that terrible. battle, after Shine does a Professor Shine shit in the third round, I think DNA tries to grab the board mm-hmm. and Shine it, it tells his man like, "Yo, grab that shit back! Don't let that nigga do that freestyle I even, shit." I didn't even peep yeah, that. if you watch that, he's like, "No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah," and he like grabs mm-hmm. it back. Cause, so I bet like since that day years ago, DNA's been the waiting. Like, and waiting I wish a nigga shit. would be a professor. That's crazy. I, ain't, I ain't know that. I ain't know that. Yeah. So, I, so right. as soon as they let DNA have it, I was like, oh no, this, rap, yeah. this nigga been waiting to get off his <laughs> anti-professor shit. That shit was low key genius, my nigga. That's probably like one of the best shits I ever seen DNA do. <laughs> like for real. Yeah. Like he like he fucking like nullified their whole round before nullified, their round yeah. even started. Yeah. It's ridiculous. So. Salute to NWX, man. That's now, it. this last battle, if you read the title, I don't even know what I'm to the title this yet, but, yeah, but. It wasn't even a battle, son. Yeah, this first exhibitionary, I don't even, yeah, you're right. Um, So, T-Top and Briz go first. I like their first round. Their first round was crazy. It was dope. I mean, yeah, it wasn't it was super like, crazy, but it was like, it was, right. it was, it was good it, teamwork. They set the good. tone. Yeah. Yeah. So, but here's one thing, and I'm going to say this, if y'all don't know this, uh, R.I.P. to Mook's mom because he passed recently R. and he's been very vocal about it and like as soon as the round started off it was like first off fuck this fuck this and Briz like was like man fuck your mom right. and I was like I was I was thinking Mook, myself Mook's like, whole demeanor changed like you seen it in his face like got serious he sat down for a second Briz was trying to rap to him and shit I guess Mook just got up you know what I mean but his whole demeanor changed bro and yeah but I was, was but I was like like literally I was like, please don't react to that. Like, please, because yeah. it's just it, to me. I know people say, oh, it was rap battles, but certain things. I don't even know if he knew. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I don't know if Briz knew that. Maybe he wouldn't say it. But I was just like, damn, man. Like, I know how that probably felt. So I'm like, please don't react. So we're gonna fast forward. T Top and Briz have a dope first round. Calico and Mook's first round. They tell a story that was mad long, and they didn't Kinda get to the flat. yeah. They didn't get to the lines yet. So the crowd started getting restless. And I was I was already thinking, like, yo, y'all have to get to the lines and angles hey, <laughs> and shit immediately. And before they could even really get into it, Calico said something. Mook said something. And mind you, the whole time, Briz is, like, moving in the background. Yeah, like he's, doing, like, standing in between doing, Mook and Cal and Vogue shit. dancing and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he's just doing weird stuff. And yeah. to me... I don't know if Mook was already pissed off because you talking about his mom and shit like that. Mm-hmm. And even in the rhyme, he said, I just buried my... He said he, he said, said it right before. Yeah, he, before said, he said the line in T-Top where he was like, yo, I just buried my mom. So, like, imagine what I'll do to a nigga who sell crack to his mom to get my mom back. Right. You know what right, I mean? And right. that was the line, the first line that was like, ooh. So, so he's saying all these rhymes, Calico goes. Then Briz is, like, still moving funny and doing stuff. And he, like, <laughs> like bumps in the Mook while Mook's rapping. But yeah. mind you, he was moving in between Mook and Calico like while they rapping. Mook wasn't even facing him. Yeah. Like he just bumped him from, like, from the back and then Mook turned around like, yo, come on, son. And then, yeah, and then he was like, they were like holding each other and I don't know what Briz, I don't know what they were saying that Briz was doing, but Mook just swung on yeah, him. Yeah, swung on him, yeah. Swung on him, hit him, and then T-top somebody, somebody, fell down, <laughs> yo, T-top, slow motion. Yeah, Humpty Dumpty T-top, bro. 
<laughs> he taught my man, but he fell down in slow motion. <laughs> then somebody got tackled. Then people was jumping on someone. It's hard to even tell. Yeah, niggas speared Calico off the stage and damn near and shit. Like, I don't know who the fuck that was, but Calico was mad smooth, took off the shades and shit before he swung the punch, man. That shit was crazy, man. Like, that shit went like that too, bro. Like, that shit caught me off guard, bro. You know, it's unfortunate, bro, but scrap the whole battle. Don't try to reschedule this shit. Don't try to. This shit is over with, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't want to see this. And I can see, like, now it's probably diffused, died down or whatever. It's probably, we're probably going to see a million interviews by the time this drops. Oh, yeah, of course. But, like, I. Now, this is this is toe on the line, right? Now, after Math, it's, it's so funny, this happens. After Math and Ster- Sirius resolve their issue, they shake hands, they laugh on camera. To me, that was like, finally, we're done. Right, we're done. Like, we're we done got- with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And Mook right after this shit. So, this and is what Mook I'm- was like the last nigga I expected to, to really like. Yeah, he's an antagonizer, but yeah. he never... But the situation in the battle, though, yeah. after the whole mom shit, I kind of see why he would have did it. Mind you, we're not accusing Briz of of yeah. definitely, like, attacking his mom and even knowing. Yeah. But, like, I'm just saying I could see why Mook was perturbed, mm-hmm. right? And now, let me ask you this. This is what the conversation is going to turn into. Was Mook wrong? In my opinion, no. Why? Son, I mean, Briz was doing too much off the rip, first off. And then you mm-hmm. see it on the footage. Like, he he bumped the shit out of him. On his back, so he turned around, he started holding on him. Like, Briz is just out the gate, like he was asking for it, damn near. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, Mook was probably already acky from that whole mom line. I seen his whole demeanor change, bro. Like, you feel me? Like, he went serious. He came in there dancing and shit with Calico. Remember Calico's song? Oh, what yeah, is it? I'll yeah, beat yeah. a nigga ass, whatever. Yeah. Them niggas <laughs> all singing and nigga dancing ass. and shit. And then when that line dropped, bro, yeah. that shit changed everything, bro. I seen that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, um, I'm not mad at him, bro. I'm, I'm really not mad. Cause you know, sometimes people see, oh, you swung with a nigga, it's better rap. Like, ah, da, da. Like, no, nah, it was just too much going on in that stage. Like, I'm surprised the Ace I mean and the Snake Eyes are going to swing. You feel me? So, the whole yeah, tension they like, tonight break that up. I mean, I'll say this. Like, I'm not for, y'all know me, I'm a nice guy. I'm not for fighting in any battles. But at the same time, I've always believed when it comes to, like, dead relatives, yeah, you don't, kids. There, there's certain shit you don't say, bro. You know what I'm saying? Man, it's, like, it's alone. like, I probably wouldn't hit somebody. But I I can't blame somebody you feel so strongly about yeah. your relative or whatever that like some people just can't take that. Some people is cancers. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, it's real. That's real. So it, it's like and I mean zodiac cancer, not cancer to the culture. <laughs> but like but even but even if cause cause he didn't say nothing when they did that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I can just see Mook being perturbed because Briz is dancing around him like while they're trying to battle. Briz is like in between them. Yeah. Calico is kind of like, he didn't tell him to move, but he was kind of like, yo, yeah, like, like, what you're doing, pushing him back yeah. while they was in the middle of it. Then he's bumping Mook all in the back while Mook's not even looking at him. Mook turned around. And from Mook's perspective, I can see how they didn't know. He didn't know what Br- Briz, because Briz wasn't like trying to fight him. Yeah. He was just kind of like, yo, like it just looked fucking weird and aggressive. <laughs> you know, whatever they was doing. Yeah, it's some weird old shit going and on. And Mook was there, just like, bro. yo, don't play with me and threw a punch. Yeah. Now, when we say Mook punched Briz, we're not saying he punched him and knocked him out for people who didn't see right, what happened. Right, right, right. But, but, but he swung on him. He swung on him, bro. He threw Clear. a punch. It kind of hit him. His hat went you know to the side. Mean? T-top fell T-top slow went, and shit. Yeah, went then people down. on the stage started fighting and people started breaking shit up. Right? But one last question is, where do we go from here? And we, I mean, battle rap as a culture, like, do we just ignore this? Because it's like a weird thing that only happened once. Let me do tell we... you something, bro. We just, it's, it's going to, like, it's going to happen. It's, it's, yeah. it's battle rap. Ain't nothing really that we could, we could stop. You feel me? Like, we men at the end of the day. This yeah, is a, this is a, a bunch a, of men in each other's yeah, face man. being aggressive, you know repping their states. Yeah. You, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? Entourage is all on stage and shit. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we wish for it not to happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, the goal is to, like, go to a peaceful event. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But. It happens, bro. Like, this is the culture, bro. And this is what I'll say, too, right? So when people be like, stop the violence in hip-hop. When you beef with somebody on a track and you never met him before, but he said something about Twitter on against you or he did an interview, said something about you, now you want to fight him, how does that shit get diffused? It goes by for when it, people go back and forth. Usually they have a mutual party reach out, and when they finally meet each other, it's like, oh, I never met you. It's right, peace. Right. When battle rap is like, you talk mad shit to somebody for five months, you you, talk, you drag them in mad interviews. Mm-hmm. You get on a stage, have to be cordial enough to get them saying all type of shit about you. You right. say all type of shit about them. And then if y'all respect each other at the end, you dap it up and hug. That's like the only sport that we do that Does, Doesn't that make it sound way harder than... 
yeah. in hip hop in general. You of know, of course, what I mean? of course. So I don't. I mean, uh, summer summer and, impact. And then it's like it's like we didn't go into the battle neither, like expecting them niggas to fight neither, right? That, that's like the yeah, first, it was you know mad random. It's like not I was like, I was kind of sad, yo. Like I was like, damn. Like my yeah, original reaction nah, was like, I, I, want, I wanted to see the battle. Like you yeah, know, it, got, yeah. it was postponed. You feel me? Niggas waited all the way till September seventh. Right. For them to bring it to New York, and I was telling him like, URL damn near couldn't throw events in New York no more over this bullshit. And then now look, like they came back to Queens for the first time in forever, and then a the fight break out, bro. Like you know, it's sad, bro. It's sad, you know. But what, what, what can we do? It's battle rap, right? And I guess that's it. It's battle rap. <laughs> 